Oh, hello. Have you missed me? I didn't think so. So it's been some months since I made the uh, saddest sad girl video to ever sad on the internet. And that did turn out to be the right decision for me to step back from YouTube because even without the workload of making YouTube videos, uh, 2023 still has not been easy for me. And I wound up needing some help and some care, which I fortunately was able to get and I am resting and recovering. But uh, yeah, 2023, do not recommend April's version. Get Taylor's version, not my version. Uh, that said, I do want this video to be like a hi, hello, how are you? Because I, for some reason, still want to be on YouTube and I don't, I don't know why, but I feel like this can be a really fun format for me. I just haven't unlocked what I need it to be yet or rather what I need to be for it or something like that I don't know anyway I still have been crocheting in 2023 and I would love to uh, show you the things that I have been crocheting first up and most excitedly is I did just recently release the good wishes blanket pattern it's a granny square pattern it is uh like not necessarily my largest in terms of dimension but it has the most number of squares out of any blanket that I have created thus far it's really beautiful. It's based off the basil plant. Everyone thinks it kind of looks like Zelda, which is uh, great, but it is not a Zelda themed blanket. The reason why it's called Good Wishes is because Good Wishes is one of the meanings of the basil plant. Also, if you don't want to miss any time I release a new blanket pattern, please sign up for my email list. At best, I will email once a month, just kind of like a newsletter. Uh, but I encourage you to currently, please lower your expectations of me. Anyway, can you help me though, real quick? Let me know as I'm starting to think of my next blanket pattern, do you want something that is kind of cuckoo bananas like the Purple Mountain's Majesty blanket or the Cherry Pie blanket? Or do you want something kind of more simple and toned down like the Good Wishes blanket? But let me know, let me know. What kind of blanket patterns do you like to see from me? Thank you. All right, anywho, so next up, my ongoing project. This is a blanket for me. I don't. Think I've never made a blanket just for myself and I am currently working on it. This is a thermal stitch blanket made with Burnett blanket yarn. So it's currently not even quite three feet long and it's gonna need to be like six, seven feet long. I forget if I'm on my fifth or sixth skein of yarn. So this is going to take a lot of yarn. And here, I will show you. This thing is over half an inch uh, thick. And that's from the thermal stitch. And what's great about thermal stitch is there's no holes. This really feels like memory foam and I love it. Also, this currently weighs over three pounds, which is great. It's gonna keep me so warm in the winter, uh, which is awesome and needed because I'm dead inside. What? I need to show you this. So, ooh, that is my hair. So I went to my local thrift store. Oh my God, so much of my hair is in here. Oh, ah, I'm fine. I went to my local thrift store and I picked up this punch bowl. One, she's beautiful. Two, this sucker weighs easily five pounds, if not more. Um, and it's great for these giant skeins of yarn that um, don't center pull nicely, or at least like I can never get them to center pull nicely. As I'm working on this massive thermal stick blanket, ta-da! It's fantastic and it doesn't go anywhere because this is heavy as sin. <laughs> that was more dramatic than I intended. All right, next up is this Granny Square Stash Buster blanket. I had a lot of pink yarn, which makes me happy. I love it, but it was just like excessive amounts. I just accumulated yarn uh, left over from projects at, from five years of crocheting. I'm making a whole bunch of actually different sized granny squares that I'm going to sew all together, pinks and purples, and it's going to be so pretty. I've made a whole bunch so far. Yeah, so I've got a bunch going on. And let me know what you think of this idea. Part of me wants to make this a giveaway to celebrate my five years of crocheting. September 1st will be my crochet anniversary. This granny square blanket will not be done by September 1st, but it might be done by the end of 2023. And I am considering making it a giveaway to the crochet community that uh, I love so dearly and has uh, generally loved me back pretty well. Yeah. 
Uh, this next one I'm just gonna put up on the screen because I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get it. I made this uh, cotton cup holder, which I use uh, for my morning walks. My favorite thing to do on the weekend is I go and get a massive iced coffee and I go to the local trail near me and I just go for a nice long walk with my iced coffee and my audiobooks. Do not ask me what I'm reading. If you know, you know. Uh, another little thing is I'm not an Amy grooming girl. However, um, I started designing, I had like a fever dream about this, like this is actually going to be a cat. Don't ask me how, I know it looks like a pig, but I had a fever dream about this cat thing. So I just like freehand crocheted this and uh, I actually sculpted little clay eyes for him. They're not done yet. And because I have uh, most definitely undiagnosed ADHD, uh, this is just uh, in the pile. And then finally, probably my other like biggest creative thing was I decorated this office. If you watch my previous videos, then you probably saw this was a big white space. I'm sitting where I used to film all of my videos. And I felt like I had to have it be this like totally sterile, just customizable space, but it didn't make me happy. And I don't think it like did anything for my viewers out there. So I painted this pink and I decorated it and I would love to show it to you. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and checking in. I really hope you're doing well and I want to come back sometime. I just need to figure out how to do it. All right, until I see you again, I love you. So this is what my space used to look like. And this is what it looks like now. It's pink, it's soft, it's girly, it's cute. I have sculptures of food and just it feels so me in a way. I wanted to feel soft and safe in this space and cozy. And that's what I've made. Now I'm not completely done decorating it yet, but it's a good start. And this is really my happy space. It's where I crochet and it's just where I want to be.